Hi, welcome to Recollage with Pink Early. I um, did an impromptu yesterday evening. Well, I guess it was afternoon and uh, worked with the jelly plate trying to get some fabric jelly printed uh, items to use for journal covers. I had fun. I learned some things, but it wasn't all that successful. And to be honest, I didn't keep most of what I had done yesterday. I just have a few pieces. So I've got this little piece. And what I was using was some pigment powder and some um, acrylic medium. They kind of got like a watercolory vibe, which isn't bad. This one here, I did some flowers. I did another one with flowers. I'm not sure where that one. Oh, here it is. It's right underneath. So, I mean, this is kind of cute. I'm not sure it would work for a journal cover, but I could cut it up into pieces and use it perhaps for something. And then there was this one. Just want you to see the top half. Again, I just painted freehand with um, the pigment powders mixed in. I use GAC 900. It's a golden product. And then I added um, some golden matte medium. And um, there's some work to be done on that process and that idea. But then this morning before I put my plate away, you can still I have painty hands. Um, I started to mess around with acrylic paint and I was much more successful and got some things that I think will be really good for me to use. So I just thought I'd go quickly through and show you my results before I pack this stuff all up and uh, get on to the next project. So this was the uh, tone on tone fabric. And I did do the um, pigment powders on this one and then jelly printed with some acrylics. Picked up some stuff off of the plate on that one. This one, you can see I striped my fabric and just did, um, actually I used the end of a roll of gauze to make those circles and then just used a brush to swirl the paint. This one I really like. Again, this is the tonal white on white fabric and you can see those little leaves kind of pop and I just used a circle just a little plastic cup and then you can see where I I was dampening the back of my fabric a little bit and uh, really pressing into the jelly plate to get the the uh, the uh, paint to soak up into the fabric so that one's kind of cool and then again, the tone on tone, the white on white, you can see the regular fabric there. Mm -hmm. And then just some circles and some stripes, just kind of blended the color. I like purples and oranges together. This was a second pull off of one of the pulls. This one is really cool. This one will make a really neat um, cover. And where's the, the original? Here's the original, the first pull. You know how we save threads? When we're done a little sewing project, we save our threads. I've got a whole little tub of them. And I just put some on the plate. After I juiced it up with my paint, I put some of the threads down and did a pull. And I think that one really turned out cool. And then this was, my plate was a little bigger than that piece of fabric. So then I picked up on the edge. And then this one. And this one were the second pulls, I believe. And then I have bits, crunchy bits all on the edges of my plate. So I was trying to get some of that cool stuff. See, so I think that looks really cool. So they'll be good for small covers. And then again, I was messing around with a brush and just a circle. This is the second pickup. 
with some colors I had on the plate. And this here was a mis mishmash of cleaning up the plate. I really doused the plate. After the first pull, I doused the plate with uh, just plain water and rolled the paint around a little bit with my brayer and then just sopped it up with a piece of fabric. And these are, as they dry, they're getting a little stiff, so they'll be nice for a journal. Not so crazy about this one. This was all green from my impromptu um, session with the jelly plate. And then I just tried to pick up some other stuff that was down on the plate. But I kind of like this backside. So that might look nice as part of a cover or a cover in itself, then maybe do some slow stitching or stitch on an applique or two. That might be cool. And again, this one, you can really see, this is again is the tonal white on white, but you can really see where I put the water on the plate. I just love that. It makes such a neat pattern. It's almost like when you put a uh, watercolor on your jelly plate and then really hit it with some additional water and it just kind of separates from itself. And um, yeah, so I'm liking that one, I'm liking that one a lot. And this is just straight up different colors on the plate that I like that work together. And again, like I said, my fabric was a little narrower than my plate so then I just put down this additional piece and I started to put a little bit of sparkle and shimmer on the plate so I'm not sure you can see that but I'm happy with those two and then this one let's see what did I, oh this is a huge piece See what I got under here. Oh, okay. I think this was a cleanup of the plate from a couple different poles. I did one end. See how you, the color is not as intense, right? And then you can see on the edges, you know, the darker colors where all the different colors on the plate kind of gather and they get crunchy and that stuff really looks great on paper when you pull it up and then this was a, a second pull i had that big big white space on the end of this fabric to try to get a pull this one's my probably if not my favorite one of my favorites and i just used uh this was, uh, oh, I know, I unpackaged um, the scores and used the plastic um, cellophane that was around it and went through and tried to drag up some of this darker color at the bottom up onto the yellow. And um, it would be like using uh, cellophane wrap when you bunch it up. But I'm very pleased with that. I can probably get a couple, couple covers out of this one. And this isn't quite, uh, most of them are not quite dry yet. So as this dries, it, it gets a little more uh, tooth, a little more body to it. And I think it'll be nice for a, you know, I'll put, probably put that on a paper bag or a piece of a cardstock or something to, you know, give it a little more stability. And these are, Oh, this is what I did on the impromptu. This was using uh, the string I put down and pulled out the bottom. This was using the pigment. Oh, this was where I mixed the paint. If you watch that one, I'll link it below. Um, this is where I put um, gesso and mixed it in with the pigment colors. And this was another one. You can faintly see my stencil in here yeah, maybe on camera you can't see it so much 
it's very faint. That was uh, also with the pigment colors. And then this one, I just did circles with a plastic cup. And this was the acrylic paint. So I've got a couple others here that I was just cleaning up the plate and getting a couple of additional pulls. So I've got quite a bit of fabric here that I can now use for journal covers. So I'm well pleased with that. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you want to try it, have any questions, let me know. Just put it in the comment section below. And if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate you doing that. Love to have you join me. And um, I guess that's it for this little video. I'll see you next time. Don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. Bye-bye.